What was the experience like to come back to fighting after so many years off? Did you feel any ring rust? You know, um, it was definitely stressful. I, I would say they're not scary, but uh, the anxiety uh, to perform well. You know, I wanted to go out, I wanted to perform well. I wanted people to see how, how hard I've worked. You know, I didn't want to go out and have people commenting afterward, he looks slow, he looks washed up. So, you know, I trained exceptionally hard and, um, you know, I think it showed in the fight. And I think, you know, that goes for ring rust as well. You know, I sparred hard. I had a lot of hard sparring rounds in the gym. And so, uh, no, I didn't feel any ring rust at all. What made you choose World Bare Knuckle Fighting Federation and not another organization set of rules like MMA or kickboxing? You know, I'm actually really excited about uh, Bare Knuckle. I feel like even when I watch MMA, I love watching guys slug it out. And sometimes when it hits the mat, as much as I love jujitsu, I go, oh man. You know, they were, it was looking so, it was so fun to watch them just slugging it out, you know. So, this is, all, you know, Bare Knuckle is all the good stuff. And I, I think this sport is going to take the world by storm. I really do. Wow. How was the event overall? Seemed to be good fights with a high pace between fights. You know, I thought the event went, went great, you know. It was their first show, um, you know, so... I'm sure they're, they're going to continue to work on things and make it smoother and smoother. But as far as the fights, you know, the fights went quick. They were all action-packed, super exciting. Yeah, I think the event went great. How was it to prepare for two-minute rounds? Uh, two-minute rounds is very different. You know, you, if you go out there and you feel your opponent out for the first minute and he lands a shot or two in the second, you've lost a round. So definitely the pace is different, the tempo is different. Um, yeah, you know, you really you really have to uh, get out there and be aggressive when you only have two minutes. And how did your preparations change? Well, obviously, because... Since this was a... Uh, just a boxing event, solely hands, you know. I mean, obviously, bare knuckle, you know, we can clinch, you can underhook, spinning back fist is allowed, but still, only hands. So, obviously, my preparation, you know, I focused on, on my hands solely. Worked a lot of clinched up with my MMA guys, and also worked a lot of boxing with um, the boxers at our gym. How come the fight was at LHW and not MW? Skip. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. What did you think about Baroni's game plan, and what and was the uh, animosity real between the two of you? You know, um, I, I I get Baroni's game plan. He came out straight. He kept doing that because he thought I was going to come straight at him. He, you know, he probably watched fights of mine from ten years ago where I went straight out there and just slugged. Um, and he was expecting that left, so he was coming in hard, dipping his head off the line, throwing his right, forcing the tie up. Um, unfortunately, that's that's not what I did. You know, I, I've spent the last three years working working my striking, my footwork, my range. Um, I'm I'm not that straightforward fighter that I used to be. Are you surprised the fight ended so quickly? The step back left hook you landed was beautiful. Thank you.